Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the new Fubo TV interface. Fubo has been working to update its interface for international use and make everything unified. And U.S. customers are beginning to roll out the new experience. I don't have this interface on all of my devices, but I do have it on my Roku Ultra. And we're just going to take a look at how this looks different. And you should notice it right away if you're a long-time Fubo user. It's a lot less orange. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but if you think about it, Fubo TV has always had a lot of brown, gray, black, and orange. And they sort of eliminated the orange, which gives it, oddly enough, a more modern feel. It looks a little less distinguishable between some of the other interfaces you see on smart TVs or even, you know, Android TV, YouTube TV, and things like that. It still organizes the front page or the home page by, you know, these pre-done rows. So you see, you see news, news for you, movies for you, things like that. These are just going to be basic things that it's offering. This isn't anything real specific to you. But as it is, it's just trying to give you a feel for what's out there and get you started with content discovery. Where you start getting a lot more serious is your recordings, which is using Fubo's Cloud DVR, which obviously does reflect what it is that you are watching. This again is another prefab category everybody loves, popular comedy shows. You might not care for the family guy, but their numbers show that lots of people do. So, as you move on, you'll notice that the toolbar is over on the left side. That's where all the menu things are these days. Its grid guide is updated. It's more or less what it used to be, but it is a little larger. Larger with, like I said, less colors to deal with. It's mostly gray, black, and white with the pretty color you know, icons in the now playing column. This grid is searchable you know, through the hours, even a couple of days in advance. As you go through, you will notice that it gives you everything that you would expect. It shows you the network that things are on. It shows you the program that's in place, what time it comes on, what time it will end, and so on. Yeah, you know, that's pretty standard practice for all of this. Up top, you have these little bubbles. Reminds me a lot of what I see like on YouTube's basic apps. But these help you break things down as far as the type of TV you're watching. So you need to break down into news or trending channels, entertainment. You see lifestyle on there. Trending channels are going to be based on just what is it that people are watching on their network overall. You know, Fubo can tell what's popular and what isn't. So it's just letting you know, hey, a lot of people like this, maybe you will. Just added isn't going to be as integral because they don't add channels that often, but it does keep you up to date. And in general, this is just so you can get to the point of what it is that you want to say. So if you're interested in something like sports, you can go straight to the sports groupings and get on with it. My stuff is where you're going to find things that you've either been watching already or recorded for your DVR. Moving on, you can create watch lists, and that's helpful because it will, you know, when you see something you say, that looks interesting. You want to get back to it. You don't want to be like, what was that thing that I found on that channel that I thought looked like it would be fun? As you can see, I kind of like sci-fi schlock. Sports is still a big thing at Fubo. It was originally founded as pretty much a, almost a soccer service. But as it has expanded, it includes leagues and breakdowns by divisions and teams so that it's really easy to find specific things. Like, if you go into football, it's not just going to be, you know, all of the football games. You can look for NFL and CAA. It even, like, as you see, has some high school sports. 
something kind of funny is that football Americano college, that's American style football, like as played in Mexico, you know, where of course they call soccer football. So now you can actually watch other countries, other cultures adapt what we think of as traditional football. It really shines when you start looking into the way that things break down. Sometimes you can discover things that you didn't even know were out there, like European basketball leagues. And of course, especially, as was traditional, shines with things like soccer. You can always look for all basketball or all of any sport instead of breaking it down. But it's helpful that you know, it allows you to know this is women's sports, this is men's sports, and so on. Bubo TV is home to Bally Sports, of course. Uh, Bally Sports is one of those regional sports networks that isn't available on every virtual programming option. You know, a lot of these cable replacement services have dropped RSNs to make room for other channels and save money. But because Fubo TV offers Bally Sports, that means that you're going to have a chance to get to, you know, if you have a local or regional NBA team, NHL team, even sometimes Major League Baseball. A lot of that is out there. And Fubo is one of the leaders in that whole RSN space. You're able to look for channels and programming on demand. What you can get on demand is all going to depend on what the network provides. Some shows, there's only one season. Some shows, you might find 20 seasons available. I believe this is one where you see a whole lot of these seasons and episodes. Let's see. Seasons, yeah. Let's see. Of course, you'd think from these seasons that... Guy Fieri has had a show for 33 years, of course. The way seasons are broke down these days is a lot different. You know, they might have 12 episodes and call that a season, and then later on that year they have another 12 episodes and that's a season. But Guy Fieri's a acquired taste. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Luckily on programs like this, there are lots and lots of different things to see. You see that it breaks everything down into the type of programming. So you got kids and family here, and so on and so forth. As you saw from my continue watching and things like that, I tend towards sci-fi. That's just me. But I think that Fubo TV's on-demand information as far as movies and TV shows is really one of the best in the industry. It's very straightforward and actually breaks out to feel more like its own movie app, you know, something more like Netflix or Amazon Prime, than it does on demand within a TV service. I like all of them a lot, but I do think that this is the way to go, because when you want to search for movies, and search for movies under genres, you don't want to have to go through every single other menu to get to them. So having a dedicated space for this is helpful. And the new breakdown, I think, is attractive. I like that it presents a lot of titles on the screen at one time. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four. About six, it looks like that. Yeah, yeah six across the front. So you get 12 titles available per click here. So this helps you get to lots of things. You see it's alph alphabetized typically. But this is a good way to kill an afternoon, you know? In general, I really do like the new look. Uh, the one thing I will tell people is if you're used to watching this and using the fan view as far as live sports, fan view is no longer available in this setup. Pretty much all the other features are, including, as you see, the basic search that you would expect to find with anything. Kind of funny that when you look for WWE, you also see, you know, World War One, but it's pretty easy to get straight to the point if, you know, that's the kind of thing you're looking for. You might also find that, you know, typing in this name of a specific show will get you, you know, a number of different results, so... Like, you know, sticking with the WWE theme, let's say we're looking for Raw, Monday Night Raw. You see, 
WWE Raw, Eddie Murphy Raw, and Raw Terror. You know, all three are different things, but they all say Raw, and it's probably more likely that someone's going to look for Eddie Murphy Raw than WWE Raw, but that's my own little addiction. Hey, as far as vices go, they are worse, aren't they? I always look for things like Batman because it's such a universal topic to see like what, how much Batman content is available in Fubo at the moment. And you notice there's a couple of things. I'm going to back out of this and see what else we can find, see if there's a different way to search for this. You can use voice, but as you see, it isn't always accurate. So let's start with Batman again. Batman, you see, you see across the top, behind the mask, the Lego movie, the, Bat the Bateman lectures. There are lots of different things out there that could be associated with Batman. And that's all good. When you find things, you do have the option to record them if there's something that's going to be coming on later. But often, you have the choice to watch a movie right on the spot. But that's pretty much it. That's the new interface for Fubo TV. I think it's pretty easy to use. I do think it has a nicer look. It pops a little bit more. It's kind of a less is more thing. The less colors, the more contrast you get with the ones that are there think it's easy to see. I, I, I always like the dark background with the white writing more so than I like white backgrounds with colored writing. I think it makes it easier for everybody to see whether you're colorblind or a little impaired and having the representations of the either the programming or the networks there also helps with the branding, helps you find what you're looking for. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, and if you have any other questions about streaming and streaming services like this, shoot us a comment. Often we make videos based on what it is that people are looking for or maybe it's something that they found confusing. So be a part of the process. Do hit the bell to receive updates. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.